This game was really boring, and then it wasn't. I told you it was boring. This is Wesley versus Fiddler. Now, the commentators were always thinking like, eh, White's a little better. And there were positions where White was obviously better later in the game. And the engine's like, Black should resign. We were thinking plus 0.5, plus 1, maybe plus 1.2. And the engine's like plus 5 with equal material on the board. So that's, you know, weird. And if I was Wesley's coach, I assume I would get fired on day one because 70% of the time, Wesley just wants a quick draw. And 30% of the time he plays to win, then he wins. So I would tell him like to play for a win every game and stop doing that. And he would fire me. So he, he wins whenever he wants to win. And when he wants to draw, he plays like a 10 move draw. Now, the rules in this tournament are good for Wesley. No draw agreements allowed ever. So if he wants to draw, there has to be repetition. Otherwise, Wesley is forced to play for a win. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Now, Wesley has two and a half out of three. Mm -hmm. The game he drew is completely winning. He said he couldn't sleep that night. It was his nightmare. You know. So mm -hmm. he should be three out of three. He's playing Mama Jarvis plus four, and he didn't win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only one person I know of who's beaten Mama Jar of every game they've ever played him. Who's that, Karen? I don't think I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rush Cosmos. By the way, when I beat Mama Jar of in the second game of the match, in the fourth game of the match, Mama Jar of beat Wesley in like the most interesting game ever played. There was like promoting and different material and confusion, time trouble. That was a great game. All right. Okay, so we'll start here. Wesley played B4. And they traded everything. And this is bad for black, this pawn structure. So probably Svidler should have played something else. Yeah, the, the engine says Svidler should just ignore this move. Play bishop takes, play f5, and just play chess over there. Because this is just good for white. Like... When you see these three things, it's good for white. That's a bad rook. This is a great rook. Isolated pawn. You want to have a knight here? That would be some cheating. Yeah. And this this is what really made me mad, is Wesley played f3. So I was furious. And the engine said it was the best move. Now, this is the exception that proves the rule. He has a dark squared bishop. So f3 defends the white squares, and this defends the dark squares. So it makes some sense here. Now, what's funny is Wesley thinks that this is where Svidler lost the game. He said here, Svidler has to go crazy like Fox News. He said Svidler has to just push all of his kingside pawns. So he wants black to play knight e6, defending g5, and then play g5, and then, you know, like that. But, Wes but Svidler did nothing, so Wesley was just winning on the queen side in the center. Yeah, he didn't like Rook F7. Too slow. I mean, yeah, this is just total domination. I mean, black, you know, this is weak, this is weak. That's a ridiculous Rook. If this pawn ever moves, which it did, then I go here forever, ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. If you don't do this, I, you can't move that, can't move that. This hangs the pawn. That hangs the pawn. That hangs the pawn. And white's totally dominating. Okay, so he played king h7, which engine recommends. h4 is the best move, but when I was watching one of the comments here, they're like, h4, what's wrong with him? And that's just like the best move. Uh, okay, now he finally gave him with f4. Um, but yeah, his position is just awful here. And black just can't do anything. But he did do something. Yeah, now, now here, here comes that. Oh, boy. Man, that's going to be good when he goes there. Okay, so he plays knight there. And now this is, this is ingenious, and it's even hard for me to explain, so I won't explain it. And after the game, Wesley said, I guess Svidler missed this move. And I mean, 94 is just really strong. 
There's nothing wrong with knight e4. Knight e4 is great. But this move, bishop takes d4, like a move I would never think of, um, that puts black in a quandary. So you got two ways to take. He took with the bishop. If you take with the knight, and I play knight e4, man, the truth hurts. You can't, you can't lose that. So, yeah. Now, knight f5 hangs the f pawn. So I play queen takes f4. And now you, I mean, I, 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 I think Wesley was going to take the rook, by the way, which is also good, even better. Now, the reason this doesn't defend the pawn, mm -hmm. you, you'll like this. Are you, are you sitting down? Yes. All right. Bam! The bishop's defending f6. So you can't take with the bishop because you lose your queen. Truth hurts. So knight takes knight e4, white just wins right away. White's threatening this, white's threatening that. Yeah, okay. So he took with the bishop, attacking the rook. Mm -hmm. And then Wesley played knight e4 anyway. Because if you take the rook, say the mem shows. Same. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now this looks really, really good for white. And the engine says it's really, 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 really good for white. It says like plus a million. Even though material is equal. And so he resigned here. You can't defend this pawn. And then this, and then that, and the, yeah, and the, oh. So this, this was an amazing achievement because Fiddler's really good. And Wesley beat him strategically like he was giving him a chess lesson. And, you know, Fiddler's done that to his opponents. Fiddler's won the, the, the Russian championship at least eight times, also at most. So, yeah, he showed Walter Brown. Walter Brown only won the U.S. Championship six times. Yeah. That game was amazing just because Fiddler's so strong and got beat like that. Yeah. Who's stronger, Wesley or Fabi? Um, you know, they both have their moments. So... I think when they both play sort of average, that Fabi's better. If they both play bad, they're probably about equal. And if they're both totally on fire, probably still equal. Wesley on fire and Fabi on fire just beat everybody. Doesn't even matter if Magnus is there. Fabi on fire, Wesley on fire just beat everybody. Um, when they're playing like sort of average, you know, then Magnus is better than them. Yeah. I mean, Fabi's better. Fabi's higher rated. But, you know, if Wesley decides I'm not going to draw anymore and he's on his game, which he is, sometimes he's on his game, then you don't want to play Wesley. Because Wesley, you know, can just win every game. Wesley crazy like Fox News. And it's like Wesley doesn't want to. He's like, oh, I can play a nine-move draw by repeating. Ridiculous. Yeah. Can MVL win this tournament? He could. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Fabi has a better career so far. But if you look at Wesley's best tournaments, they're crazy. He wins a lot of tournaments in a row where everybody's really good. And then Fabi had that crazy tournament in 2013 and or 14 at the Sinkfield Cup where he was 7-0. and In his last three games, he was winning at least two of them. But he drew because, you know, tired. And then in Tata Steel this year, I want to say it was last year. I think it was this year. Was it this year? I think it was this year. Fabi just beat everybody. Fabi got like seven points more than Magnus. Fabi just won all his games. Ridiculous. And who did who did Magnus lose to in the in Vikonze this year? It broke his like 125 game streak without losing. Um, I can't remember. No. Ooh, Esipenko. Was that's Esipenko? that's better than my answer. Because my answer was wrong. Oh. Yeah, my, I was going to say Duda, but it's Esopenko's right. Yeah. Somebody else said Duda. Yeah, so everybody maybe, says Duda. So maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, Von Forest won this year. That's right. So it was last year that Fabi... Was it last year? Now I'm getting confused. Oh, now somebody says I'm right. Duda. Mm -hmm. Well, one of those guys. Karen is right, Esopenko. Mm -hmm. 
Where's our fact checker? Von Foris did win. Yeah. That's right. Fabi won yeah. some tournament. It must have been Vikanze the previous year mm -hmm. where he won by a lot. Duda did it before Estepenko. Duda was in Norway. Yeah, it was Estepenko. She was right. Yeah, we were all wrong. I still know. All she does is study the top game. <laughs> yeah.